today is Saturday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today. Guys, guys, did you all see my kitchen a few minutes ago? It was a complete and total fright, but we got it together. Well, kind of got it together. We're getting ready to destroy it again. Um, Eric is actually getting ready to hang the cabinets. I mentioned in Monday's vlog that um, he didn't have a chance to get to them and that we would get to those cabinets in this video. So that's what we're about to do. I have um, prepped my black eyed peas. For me, guys, today is Saturday, December 30th. So not quite the new year for me yet. And I mentioned in um, the last video that I would come back and let you guys know how my black eyed peas were going. Um, so here they are. They have soaked overnight. So I just shared me adding some better than bouillon. It's actually the roasted chicken flavor. You guys can kind of see there that the water is a little yellow. So yeah, that's what that is. I actually saw that on a website that um, adding the better than bouillon helps the black eyed peas to absorb all of that yummy goodness from that uh, roasted chicken. What is that? Like paste? Yeah, it's like a paste. And you, of course, you know, you add water to it. But anyway, so these are going to soak a little longer, maybe about two more hours. And then I will cook them at the sausage like I shared in Monday's video. But anyway, so just going to let these sit, sit. Wanted to stop in really quickly, open up the vlog, let you guys know what was on today's agenda. So the Property Brothers back, you know, every now and then I have to make a quick appearance. First off, I want to wish you guys a happy, happy new year. Thanks so much. In 2023, you guys really supported the Unfront Bimani store. I'm rocking one of our most popular hoodies of last year. So especially this new year season, if you're trying to do big things in the new year, if you've got a lot of resolutions, maybe if you had a bad last year, remember the comeback is always stronger. So check this hoodie out again. Appreciate the support. Um, today's Property Brother project is real simple. We're just putting up a couple of cabinets. Um, I've got my ledger board up, so we're just going to prop them up on the ledger board, screw them into the studs. These cabinets I will link below. They actually kind of sell different versions of these at Home Depot and Lowe's. These are about 30 inches wide. They cost about $200 each. So if you're looking for like an inexpensive kitchen remodel, we use this in our basement kitchen remodel, pantry, laundry room. These are a great choice. They're already put together, which is awesome, right? So I'll link those below, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Today is actually officially January 2nd at the time of me filming right now, Tuesday, January 2nd. So happy new year. Happy new year, guys. Hope your new year is going well. Happy 2024. With that, she is dressed. She is on her way out and I'm going to bring you guys along. So I received in my inbox today an email from the Sephora. They are having 50% off of their top skincare brands that I'm all for the skincare. Um, but to be honest, 
Ulta is having a similar sale also. You guys know that I received a Sephora gift card as well as an Ulta gift card, but I think we're gonna go to Sephora today. I actually want to try out the Sunday Riley brand. I've never purchased from them before. You guys will have to drop down, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about Sunday Riley products if you've ever shot with them before. I am thinking I want to pick up the CEO Glow Vitamin C face oil. You guys know that I have a face oil in the Unfrumpy Mommy store, a turmeric face oil. I am unfortunately all out. I don't even have any in my personal stash. So I said, why not? I have my gift card. Let's give the Sunday Riley face oil a try. Today's OOT the earrings are earrings that I shared in the last video. I received these for Christmas, these sweet little hoops. My top is this turtleneck. This turtleneck is from Walmart. I have four in gray, about 100 of these in black. Oh my gosh, purchased these eons ago and these turtlenecks are holding up beautifully. Very appropriate for today's weather conditions. Um, for my blazer, this blazer is actually from Target. So actually wearing something from both Target and Walmart today, so there's that. For my bottoms, I'm wearing not the Amazon leggings today, guys. Needed something a little bit thicker. These are some baggy wedgie jeans. This pair is actually from Amazon, but I also have a pair that I purchased from Target. And then on my feet, I am wearing my Gucci loafers with the fur. These are in red and blue. You see the gold horse bit detail. And then for my socks, those are actually my Gucci socks as well. So there's that and oh, for my handbag today, I have the Gucci Horsefit 1955. I'm pretty sure I screwed that up, but yeah, that is today's OOTD. We have made it to the mall and it is thrusting in here. It is thrusting in here. So I'm not gonna be in here too long, but before I get out of the car, I wanted to chat really briefly about a topic that was on the radio as I was driving here. They, the radio host was talking about the color purple and the actors, actresses in said movie. I didn't get a chance to see it. I'm not gonna make time to see it. Um, I saw the original color purple. I'm not really the biggest fan of those types of movies. However, I did enjoy, you know, the original, um, but the callers were calling in regarding Taraji P. Henson and her breakdown regarding her pay. And um, I want to you got, get you guys' thoughts on that. My thought, simply pay the girl what she's worth. I have loved her since baby boy. She does that. She, she is a great actress. And I think her and others like her should be paid what they're worth. There should not be a gap in pay no matter your gender or race. People should get paid, you know, what they're worth. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that. This next one, I feel may be a little bit more tricky and it's surrounding Oprah and her recent weight loss. What, a few summers ago, maybe two years ago, two or three years ago, Oprah, did she acquire Weight Watchers? I want to say she did, or she at least teamed up with them and started pushing the Weight Watchers agenda. Great. We all need a little assistance. Well, Oprah has come out and said in an interview that she is or has, leading up to the color purple, taken some of the weight loss drugs that are really popular right now. Uh, Ozempic for one. Not sure if that's the one she's taking. She didn't mention the one she's actually taking. However, my issue here is how are you going to go out and tell the general public, hey girl, hey, you go take 
Weight Watchers, I am going to go do what really works. And that's these uh, things like Ozempic. I don't know how I feel about that. There's just like this big thing now among celebrities in Hollywood that if you want to lose weight, weight too sweet, you take these um, things like Ozempic. And I don't know how I feel about Oprah taking it. If she were just just regular person taking it, hey, fine, girl, do you. But it's because she is promoting Weight Watchers. That's what I have a problem with. If you feel Weight Watchers isn't working, for me, it's you're pushing one agenda, but doing something else, right? If you're gonna push Weight Watchers, you need to do Weight Watchers and make watch make Weight Watchers work. Not push Weight Watchers, get our money, and then you go and take Ozempic or whatever you're taking. I don't think that's right. I don't think that is right at all. But you guys drop down, leave a comment, let me know. Um, if you are out here and you're finding it difficult to lose weight and you feel like you have to uh, take these weight loss things, you know, stuff like Ozempic and you've got it approved by your doctor and you good with it, do you? Because look, I have family members and friends who are struggling with weight. Look, I just told y'all the other day that I love me some carbs down. I love some carbs. So it's hard out here for all of us. I just want the celebrities to play fair. These people don't play fair. It's like time you decide, oh, well, maybe I will go do the Weight Watchers and I'll start doing portion control and I'll ramp up my exercise. Now we got to go spend a thousand dollars on weight loss drugs. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, they just don't play fair. But anyway, let me gather up my items. <laughs> is okay i hope it's okay the sun's going down uh can we say complete and total madhouse at the mall and i don't i didn't think it would be possible but sephora was an even bigger madhouse i made it out by the skin of my teeth purchased one item the item that i wanted was not in stock However, I did pick up, pick up, <laughs> I did pick up their sleeping night oil. Let's see what this container looks like, shall we? And I really hope this lighting is okay. I hope the lighting is okay. But um, cute little packaging here, cute, cute, cute. So if you've already tried the sleeping night oil, do drop down, leave a comment. Let us know how it is working for you. I will try it out and of course I will report back. Now, while in the mall, I had to pass Tory Burch. Well, I didn't have to pass Tory Burch. I kind of made an exit, did a U-turn, circle back and went into Tory Burch. Tory Burch right now is having a semi and I have my laptop laptop up right here. Tory Burch right now is having a semi-annual sale. Extra 25% off. Some really great buys in there. Now, for those of you who don't know, and I know everybody knows, so just humor me, humor me. Tory Burch is one of the premier contemporary brands, and dare I say, affordable, affordable luxury brands. And when I say luxury, it's not necessarily luxury when you think of like the big fashion houses, the big name houses, your Chanel's, your Louis's, um, your Gucci. Um, but I mean luxury and just the experience. I went into Tory Burch today just looking around, did not buy anything, but that experience that I had in Tory Burch today is on par with the service I would receive when I go into Louis Vuitton, Gucci, right? So 
it's things like that the staff they're always just so gracious and just you know just so nice i love that they wear similar uniforms to the individuals um when you go inside of a chanel or a gucci they have like they're all black on and so those are the type of oh and the packaging the packaging goes without saying the packaging um, that Tory Burch offers is absolutely on par with some of these traditional luxury brands. And so if you are looking to tip your toe into the luxury brands, if you've said that 2024 was going to be the year that you, you know, decide to spend a couple of two, three more coins on yourself and you've never really done that, you've taken care of everybody else, but this year you said, you're going to take care of yourself, but you're not quite ready to jump in and head over to Chanel. I say give Tory Burch a try. So what I'm going to do today, and again, I hope this lighting is okay. The sun is... Hmm. Um, so what I want to do is share with you some of my favorite, favorite Tory Burch pieces. I have a huge... Tory Burch collection as you guys will hear see here just uh here see here shortly but again 25% off semi-annual sale run don't walk over to Tory Burch so I know that we are dead smack dab in the middle of winter as today when I headed out I said it was barely 30 degrees um but what I want to share with you is I know the top selling item at Tory Burch and it is going to be the Miller sandal right so I have several pairs of the Miller sandals and this pair that I'm holding up here is called perfect black I have them here in the patent these are the Miller patent sandals and this color is called perfect black if you head over to the Tory Burch website you will see that this Sandal has um, 2,539 ratings at the time of me filming this video and these sandals receive five stars. This is the tortoise shell. How pretty is that? This is the Lecio L-E-C-C-I-O. Gorgeous. It's just basically like an army green. Like an army green um, kind of celery. Let me stop with the colors. All right, so those are all the patents that I have. That's what, one, that's three pairs of patent millers. I had many, many more, but as you guys know, uh, over the summer, I think it was, I sold quite a few. All right, let me dust this pair off because I wanna say this is my most worn pair. This color right here is absolutely my most worn pair this is the vintage vachetta i want to say this was my first pair of the tory birch miller sandals and i absolutely love these these are holding up beautifully i know i've had these for at least three four years and they're holding up so nicely of course here in the footbed you can kind of see where they are you know gently worn in gently worn in but these the sandal itself the leather is absolutely holding up beautifully these are the light sand the miller soft metal low go sandal how gorgeous are these sandals you cannot tell me these do not look like a super super expensive sandal these are just they're just amazing. I love the fact that unlike the regular Millers that I just shared, these have that metal logo medallion right here on the front. So when you put these on, they're really going to make a statement. These right here are on average around $248. I'll go back and tell you the regular price of the regular Millers, the regular leather and the patent leather as well. Love them so much that I also have them here in black. Let me make sure they are actually calling these black. These are perfect black. These are a little dusty. Let's shine these up a little bit. A little dusty. All right. So 
Miller Soft Metal Logo Sandal and I have them here in the perfect black. You cannot tell me this is not a luxury shoe. What I love about the Tory Burch Millers in general is the fact that these shoes can absolutely be dressed up. Just for reference, the regular Millers are 198. Both the regular leather as well as the patent leather are 198. And next up, we have our Miller Clouds. The Miller Clouds are just like your regular Millers, with the exception they are more Birkenstock-like. All right, there you go, that's a better look at it. Again, I apologize for the sun, guys. But can you see the heel, the footbed on that? These are going to be a lot more comfortable, in my opinion, than the standard Millers, or like super thin in the bourbon mile that's the color all right and then i also have them let's make sure we get the name right yep i have them here in the perfect black next i have another pair of the miller clouds i don't see these on the website let me just double check that yeah so these might be um unavailable online you may want to check inside your local store if you favor these but these really remind me of the Birkenstocks and that they have this cork insole still have that heel there very 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 comfortable and I really like these so much that I purchased two pairs of these also have the good luck trainers Chanel has some fabulous ones, Gucci. I think they all have some, you know, nice luxury sneakers. If you are looking to purchase some of those, but you want it to kind of, again, tip your toe into it without, you know, going crazy at first, Tory Burch has you covered. So I have a pair, several pairs actually, of her Good Luck Trainers. All right, super comfortable, but can you guys see that? They are also very, very stylish. This pair right here I have in the color French Pearl. French Pearl and Dolce de Leche Biscotti. Mmm, that's a lot of name. All right, I have them in a few other colorways. However, these particular colorways are not showing up on the website currently so again if you like the colorways that i'm showing right now you may have to tip into your local tory birch and i should mention too that all of the tory birch trainers come with extra laces this is another colorway here and did i mention the price these are 278 dollars so this is the last colorway that I have here. You guys know Hermes is absolutely popular for their click clacks. So Tori Birch has her own. So here's one that I have in black and gold. That's the Hermes right there. Okay. And this one I have in black and silver. Again, this is Tory Burch. You can see the logo right there. I love this one. Kind of small. That's how you open it. Snaps back in place like that. Then there's this one here. It's gold and then it has this really pretty design. If we can get that to focus. All right, love that. Really nice. All right, and then we have this one. We have it in the gold. Uh, the gold hardware and then look at the design on that really pretty and then if you are in the market for a cuff this is really pretty love that you can see the Tory Burch logo all around and what it reminds me of is this Louis Vuitton cuff that I have all right very very similar all right really dainty and small this one is in that gold hardware but the Tory Burch is very similar to that she has the two little buttons here that's how you open and close it all right this one's kind of similar too 
Uh, this particular Louis Vuitton cuff, they have one very similar to this in Tory Burch as well. All right, so that is everything. cabinets are hung Eric did a great job I've also started removing some of the items from the shelves in here you guys will recall that I said I want to take everything out take everything out and just start with a clean slate that's what I am currently doing as you can see here still have to do this side also have to finish this wall back here but I think I'm gonna grab me a quick salad before continuing on um, but so yeah, the same hardware here on the cabinets that Eric hung that we have in the kitchen. And this is actually two cabinets. Not sure if you guys can tell, but I feel that they are very, very seamless and I'm absolutely loving the look. What's nice about these, they are already put together. You don't have to put anything together. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not expensive at, at all. So if you're redoing your kitchen, uh, it also comes with the shelves right now. The shelves are not in it. I believe it comes with two shelves. Per cabinet? Per cabinet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what's nice is you don't have to put them together. You don't have to paint them. They do have some that you can paint that are a little bit cheaper. So if you want a different color, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I love these. Yeah. Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart? 